what's up my name is technobo here for troubleshoot and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to clean uninstall existing graphics drivers and then reinstall them from scratch this means taking absolutely every trace off of your pc and then reinstalling them just in case you're having some kind of graphics issue for me whenever i create a new folder or file on my desktop sometimes my background will just disappear which is incredibly annoying as it's mostly unpredictable I simply fix it by setting my background again. Why exactly does this happen? Absolutely no idea, but I can only suspect it's coming from either my physical graphics cards at an issue or the drivers itself. The easiest thing to do is to reinstall the drivers from scratch, leaving nothing behind. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, what exactly do we need in order to pull this process off? Well, before we get started, you will be restarting your Windows into a safe mode with no internet connection as Windows will try and immediately download a probably outdated version of a driver or maybe the incorrect version onto your PC as soon as you restart into normal mode with internet. So you won't have access to the internet during this process, so we'll have to be prepared. First of all, go ahead and download the latest graphics drivers from wherever you usually get them. For me, I'll download the installer from the NVIDIA download page. That will be linked in the description down below. So I'll simply select my graphics card, which is a GeForce 10 series 1080 Ti, Windows 10 64-bit, game ready driver, search, and then download. Let's wait for the 600 meg download to complete, and then we'll have it saved on our PC. For ease of access, I'll be putting this on my desktop. Then on top of having the actual graphics driver, we'll need another program. And that program is Display Driver Uninstaller, DDU. Link down below is this Guru 3D page over here. Display Driver Uninstaller version 18.0.3.3. This is currently the latest version at the time of recording, but it may be different for you. Scrolling down, all we have to do is simply select a download location. For me, I'll pick anywhere in the EU. Then we'll wait for the download to actually start. And when it's done, I'll be placing both DDU's zip and my NVIDIA driver installer on my desktop for ease of access. Then I'll open up the zip folder and drag and drop out DDU's EXE. Then you can delete the Guru 3D zip. And we have these two files over here. Running DDU.zip and simply click extract, noting where it's extracting to. On my desktop, a new folder should be created called DDU, and inside of it, we have all of this over here. We can delete DDU's installer and keep just this folder and our graphics installer on our desktop. When we reboot into safe mode, we'll be running display driver uninstaller and following through with those steps. To reboot into safe mode, all we have to do is hold down start, press R, and then type in msconfig. Then we'll head across to the boot section and tick safe boot then we'll leave it as minimal, as we don't want it having an internet connection. Every time we reboot from this point on, it'll boot into minimal safe mode. And of course, to get out of it, simply run msconfig again and uncheck safe boot. So after it's checked, click apply, then OK, and simply restart your PC. I may not be able to record these few steps, so I may have to show you in a virtual machine in a couple of seconds. OK, well, long story short, I wasn't able to record the process as safe mode has barely any abilities in it. I did, however, have to restart back into normal mode to reinstall the graphics drivers, but we'll get there in just a second. So, assuming you've just booted up into safe mode, your background should be completely black and you should only have one screen working if you have more than one. When you get there, simply open up DDU's folder as such, and then right-click Display Driver Uninstaller and click Run as Admin. Then when it starts up, you'll see something like this. Of course, because I'm in normal mode, it's showing me this error, but for you, it won't. It'll show some steps and some other info. Anyway, when we get to this screen over here, there's a couple of things that we need to do. After clicking OK on the notification, you should get to the Options menu. If you see this instead, click the Options in the top left. Then we'll see this here. In here, we have a bunch of toggles and options that we can change to edit some stuff. Usually, you won't have to check anything inside of here or uncheck anything, but it's worth reading through each of these options to see what they do. For me, at the very bottom over here, prevent downloads of drivers from the Windows update. When Windows searches for a device update, this you can check, but of course, it's at your own risk. In my opinion, rather disable your Wi-Fi and unplug any physical connections you have to the internet when rebooting your PC after uninstalling. Anyway, once you've read through these options and you have something similar to this, click close and you'll see this here. Simply look for the select device type and then choose GPU. Then if it doesn't already have your graphics card type selected, click the drop down right below that and click either Nvidia, AMD or Intel. 
Of course, you can uninstall those other two if you've had them in your PC at some other point in time. If you did have an AMD graphics card in your PC and now you have an Nvidia one, it's worth doing both of them one after the other. So when you have your graphics driver selected, what we need to do is simply tell Windows not to restart into safe mode. We'll do that by holding down start, pressing R, and inside of this window over here, typing in msconfig once again. Then we'll head across to the boot section and make sure safe boot is unchecked. Apply, OK, and then we can click clean and restart. After doing this, it'll take a couple of minutes to create a restore point if you had that option checked, and then it'll go ahead and remove some files, mess around with your registry, and completely uninstall your NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel graphics drivers. If you're having issues with an audio driver as well, you can of course select the audio driver after this is done and use Realtek or Soundblaster. Of course, if you are going to do more than one graphics card or audio driver from within this, make sure to click clean and do not restart instead. This way, when it's done uninstalling one of these, you can change your selection and run it again. You can do this as many times as you need. Anyways, once you've finished going through it and you either have clean and restart selected or you manually restart your PC when this is done, you'll be booted back to here, your main Windows operating system. Don't worry, your resolution, FPS, and some other things may look a little bit weird, but all you have to do is locate the installer on your desktop, double click on it, and then we can proceed with the installation. I'll click OK and wait for the files to extract. I normally have just the graphics driver selected as I don't like GeForce Experience. Then I usually go custom and uncheck the audio driver just so that I'm not pestered by my screens trying to play audio when they don't actually have anything plugged into them. Then simply hit next and wait for the NVIDIA drivers to install. Of course, if you're using a different graphics card, then follow through with those driver installations as it says in the program, a manual, or on the internet. Then when the installation has finished, simply restart Windows as usual, and the next time you log in, you should have a fresh install of your graphics card drivers, meaning that most issues should be fixed if you experienced any. For me, I can now freely create files on my desktop and it doesn't go black at all. Really useful actually, and I'm pretty sure that some FPS drops in certain games will also be fixed. Note that when you open up the NVIDIA control panel, you'll see a first open message saying, do you accept? And of course, after clicking OK, you'll be taken to the default page. From here, you may wanna select, use my preference, and set it to performance mode, apply. Head across to the G-Sync options if you have them available, rotate display, set up multiple displays if you use surround, change resolution if you like to check the refresh rate and resolution of each of your monitors, and if you had something like the digital super resolution, you may have to set that up again. For me, something I do is I make sure that the color output for all of my screens is set to full instead of limited. There we go. Then of course, if you have any custom settings for games, visiting the Manage 3D Settings window over here, we may find settings are a bit different to what you expected. Such as this one over here, Power Management Mode, you should rather have as preferred maximum performance. So of course, some settings here have been changed, if not all of them back to the default. If you followed an optimization guide, you'll have to go ahead and do that once again, just to make sure everything's running at top quality. But anyways, once you've changed the settings to be how you like them, simply click Apply, and now we're basically back to where we were. This was of course specific to NVIDIA, but if you have any customizations in the Intel or AMD menu and using one of those graphics cards, you'll have to check your settings there as well. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.